YouTube live streaming. It's one of those things that I don't think a lot of people talk about too much because Twitch is still kind of the big guy on the block in terms of live streaming, hot sub streams, dare I say that. Uh, Twitch is a mess, but we're not, we're not going to talk about Twitch too much in this video. Today's video is all about five ways I think YouTube can improve their live streaming platform for the rest of 2022. What is up everybody? My name is David Franco and I am a longtime YouTuber of what, 15, 16 years? I don't know guys, I'm honestly losing track at this point. I've been on YouTube for a very long time, since probably 2005, but I created this channel in 2006. So yeah, I've been there since the very beginning. So in other words, I've seen the platform grow and change over time. I was there when it was acquired by Google, crazy times, and that's a very good thing. I know a lot of people hate the fact that Google owns YouTube, but believe me, YouTube wouldn't be where it is today without that Google acquisition. Mark my words, that Google acquisition was a godsend for YouTube as a whole. But you know what? That's a whole other topic for a whole other video. I've seen them introduce monetization options for creators like myself. And of course, I've seen them explore the live streaming space with YouTube gaming. Do you remember YouTube gaming? From what I can recall, it was an actual platform on its own, like there was an actual iOS app, if I'm not mistaken, completely dedicated to streaming live on YouTube and just making gaming content in general. But yeah, that's just the thing. When YouTube started taking live streaming seriously, they were mostly focused on gaming. And obviously live streaming is so much bigger than gaming. Uh, we have cooking streams, we have IRL streams, we have people literally traveling the world, holding their phones up, showing places like China and Japan. Like it's, it's incredible. Guys, there's so much creative and original content that you can get live. But in my opinion, it still has a long, long way to go if YouTube wants to catch up to the likes of Twitch. And I'm not defending Twitch in any way. I'm not a big fan of Twitch. I was an extremely active Twitch streamer for what, three to five years, something like that. And then eventually I just quit. I mean, I wasn't crazy about how things were going on um, over there on that purple platform. And plus, it just makes more sense, honestly, for me to stream live here. I mean, this is where I create videos, and it's easier for you guys to find me. And I've had many people tell me that. Like, honestly, they might just sign on to watch a video not from me, but they see me in the sidebar, and they say, oh, David's live. So, yeah, let's go say hi. So, that's what YouTube has going for them. You know, the consistency across the platform. We've got videos. We've got live streams. We've got the chat. Everything is doing great in that regard. But in my opinion... Here are five reasons, finally, and I apologize, I love to talk. These are five ways that I think YouTube live streaming can improve throughout the rest of 2022. Heavy emphasis on the rest of 2022, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Number one, gifted memberships. YouTube, where are they? Honestly, like if I'm not mistaken, YouTube pretty much came out at the end of 2021, right around Christmas time. Guys, I'll never forget my excitement. They basically announced, look, gifted memberships are coming next year. Well, it's next year, guys. As of this recording, it's April 13th, 2022. We're almost halfway through the year, guys. Seriously, guys, we're almost halfway through 2022. And as far as I'm concerned, YouTube has been extremely quiet about this matter. I mean, in my opinion, they could at least come out and say, look, we're still working on it. It's taking a little longer than we thought it would. But even then, like, what what is taking so long? It, it feels like such a basic feature that Twitch has literally had for years. And guys, let me tell you, as a content creator, gifted Twitch subs, I miss that. That's easily the thing I miss most about streaming on Twitch because we put hours upon hours into our live streams. And I'm not saying it's about the money, but guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Money is nice, is it not? I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you right now. I love money. And well, guys, let's face it. I mean, if I'm streaming from what, five, to eight hours on average, it would be nice to get something monetary, you know, in return, aside from regular memberships, super chats, more on that in a bit. That's a little rant coming up. And of course, PayPal donations and all that stuff. And I'm grateful for that. Thank you guys so much for everything you've done for me. But YouTube, we need gifted memberships because another way to look at this is not everybody can afford a membership. Not everyone can afford that $5, $7, $10 a month. I mean, especially during these times, people are still extremely tight on spending, they have budgets. So it would be really nice for person A or person B or person O or whatever to get a free gifted membership for a month or two. That would honestly 
make their day. And I'm not only talking about my channel. I'm talking about the big streamers like Tim the Tapman, Dr. Disrespect, Courage, all those people. Okay, so moving on to the second way I think YouTube can improve live streaming. Members should not get ads. This kind of falls in line with number one, but I think it's big enough to stand out on its own. Yeah, guys, I'll tell you this. If you're not aware, becoming a YouTube member does not guarantee you that you're suddenly not going to see ads on YouTube. The only way you're not going to see ads on YouTube, besides using an ad blocker, but I don't support ad blockers as a content creator. Sorry, never have, never will. It's just not my taste. Yeah, so the only official way you're never going to see ads on YouTube is if you sign up for YouTube Premium. Now, disclaimer, I am a YouTube Premium subscriber, and I never see myself going back to being non-premium because, guys, let me tell you, it's been an absolute godsend. I watch so much YouTube from gaming content to eBay content to vlogs to funny cat videos, whatever. Going from video to video to video and not getting ads is just, it's huge, you know? And that rare moment when I come across a YouTube account or maybe a new browser of mine where I'm not logged into YouTube and I suddenly get an ad on YouTube, I'm like, what, what is this madness? So YouTube Premium, if you want my opinion, guys, it's more than worth it. But anyway, that aside, that's the only way you're not going to get ads. Becoming a YouTube member does not guarantee you that. Now, granted, I don't give you guys ads on my live streams. I purposely do not monetize my live streams with ads because I don't want you guys missing the gameplay. I don't want you missing the commentary. I don't want you missing out on a good comment in chat or anything like that because I want you guys to stay connected. So yeah, I mean, I don't even monetize my live streams, but I really wish becoming a member would guarantee you no ads, at least on the channel that you are a membership of. For example, Twitch. I hate to use Twitch as an example. They do so many things wrong, but at the same time, they're doing so many things right. And one of those things that they're doing right is gifted subs, AKA memberships over on YouTube. Basically, when you sub to a channel rather than follow, you're guaranteed no ads. And that's huge, that is so cool. And you get a free sub with Twitch Prime or Twitch Prime Gaming or whatever they call it nowadays. Why can't YouTube offer something like that for YouTube Premium? Guys, how cool would it be to become a member of someone's channel like mine or someone else's for a month for quote unquote free just because you're part of YouTube Premium? And guys, let me tell you this. I know I said that a lot. YouTube Premium, as far as I'm concerned, also includes YouTube Music and I never use YouTube Music. So if I could maybe even pick or choose a la carte my benefits that I want each month, I would love that. That would be huge. I would much, much rather take a free membership than have access to something I don't use, YouTube music. So those are my thoughts on that. YouTube, please improve memberships, expand them. There is so much potential there. And well, guys, who knows? Maybe this stuff will come out in a month or two. I don't know. Okay, number three. This is a huge one. I think everybody, everybody can agree with me here better spam control. And I'm not saying Twitch is perfect with this. There is no perfect platform when it comes to spam control. But when we're talking about YouTube, a platform that is quite literally focused around videos and comments, and we're still getting, you know, it seems like endless amounts of spam in both comments and the live chat. That just, it, it blows my freaking mind how somebody has not figured that out yet. I don't know. Maybe they should take some people from the Gmail team for a little bit and put them on the YouTube chat team or whatever you call it and say, look, sit your booty down here and work on this for a few weeks. We need to get this figured out. Shout out to MKBHD. You're never going to see this video. I'm just a tiny, tiny speck in this YouTube universe. Uh, but he made a great video um, explaining why and basically ranting um, about YouTube's bot problem, their spam problem. Like it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous and they need to fix it. Now, thankfully, I have some awesome moderators Shout out to my mods in my chat. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being there every single night and pretty much getting rid of every spam message that comes through. Well, because you're allowing me to focus on my game. Um, and if I had to alt tab or whatever, or use this secondary mouse to get rid of spam, that derails me from my experience. So thank you for being you mods. I appreciate you. Number four, this one's not as important to me, but it's definitely something that I think YouTube needs to greatly improve in and that's YouTube exclusive perks in games. Guys, just do a quick Google search, Twitch video game perks, and you'll get exclusive skins in games like Apex and Call of Duty or whatever because your account for Call of Duty or Fortnite or whatever is connected to Twitch Prime. 
why YouTube is not doing the same thing for YouTube Premium and all these games, I don't know. Guys, we're talking about YouTube here. Quite literally a billion, a multi-billion dollar company. So it's not like they can't afford to work out deals with companies like Epic and EA and Respawn or whoever makes these games, you know? It's just, I don't think they care that much. And honestly, I don't blame them that much for this part of the video because in-game perks aren't really that important to me. Honestly, every single time I've gotten some kind of Twitch Prime perk, like an exclusive skin in Apex, it's okay. I mean, it was usually like a different shade of purple. You know, the purple matching Twitch's brand. Uh, so this isn't a huge deal for me, but there are many people out there who crave exclusive perks. And I think it can't hurt. So YouTube, look into it. And finally, number five, and this is perhaps one of the most important points of today, Super Chats. If you guys are not aware, Super Chats are a way for you to donate money, which I greatly appreciate, and I've been getting a lot of them lately. Thank you guys so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Basically, you donate through Super Chats that are directly connected you know, to YouTube's live streams. There's a little dollar symbol down there. That's the Super Chat button. You click that, that money gets sent to creators like me. But the thing is, YouTube takes a 30% cut. Let me say that one more time. A 30% cut. That's insane. So let's say, for example, you donate $100 to me via Super Chats. And that just happened last week. You guys are incredible. Thank you. 30 of those dollars go towards YouTube. And I get 70. Now, obviously, I'm still grateful for that $70, but I feel bad for those using Super Chats. You're essentially giving $30 to Google. And let's face it, Google doesn't need that $30. <laughs> Google's got plenty of money in the bank. They're doing just fine. So I think, and this isn't going to happen, this is never going to happen, but in my opinion, YouTube should dramatically cut down on the cut they take from creators in regards to Super Chats. It's not fair to the creators. And it's not especially fair to you guys, the viewers. I'll say it again. Would you rather give $30 to Google or $30 to a streamer of yours and have them keep all 30 of those dollars? Or in my case, $100. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing that YouTube takes so much. Now, I know. I know they're a business. People are going to tell me in the comments, David, YouTube's got to make money. I realize that. I'm in my 30s. I'm not an idiot. I have my own house. I realize how money works. I realize how life works in general. YouTube is a business. They're in this business to make money. So I'm just going to say this. I think as of tonight, I'm going to turn off Super Chats on my live streams. It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. So if you want to support content creators like me or Courage or whoever, big or small streamers, donate directly via PayPal, honestly. PayPal might take a tiny, tiny percentage of a cut, but I'm telling you this, it's not 30%. 30% is absolutely insane. That's a lot of money, um, and I, I just can't stand for that anymore. Now, I will say it is nice when all that Super Chat money goes directly into my monthly check, my monthly payment from YouTube. That's really cool how it's all bundled together, but honestly, at the same time, it would be nice having all that money go separately into my separate PayPal accounts, which I actually used to do on Twitch, so I think I'm going to start to talk about that more in my live streams on YouTube. So I'll say it again, as of tonight, I'm pretty sure I will be completely disabling Super Chats. I don't want you guys wasting money. I don't want you giving your money to Google and YouTube. Well, because let's face it, maybe some of you thought every single dollar of your Super Chat was going to me. Sadly, that's not the case. YouTube takes quite the large cut, and I'm just not going to stand for that anymore. Anyway, guys, those are my five ways I think YouTube can improve their live streaming platform throughout the rest of 2022. I realize most of this is not going to come true, but if there is one that's pretty much guaranteed to come true, I mean, as long as Google's actually working on this, you know, like they claim they are, yeah, it's gifted memberships. It's coming eventually, hopefully sooner rather than later. So guys, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Or do you just not care? Either way, please join me in my live streams. As of today, I stream on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And yeah, I typically start around like 10 p.m. Eastern. And on Wednesday night into Thursday morning, technically, I usually wrap around like two or three in the morning. But guys, Friday into Saturday and Saturday into Sunday, basically in the weekends, I stream from about 10 or 11 p.m. till on average lately, 
6 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, as you can probably tell, I put a lot of time into live streaming, so I care deeply, deeply about this platform. And I just want creators to get what they deserve and viewers get what they deserve. So thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Peace.